Hey everyone, welcome back to Zabby's YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going everything we know so far about Marvel's Phase 4. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and hit that bell notification button so that you never miss an upload. Spider-Man Far From Home wrapped up Phase 3 of Marvel's Cinematic Universe with an incredible fun story that was the perfect light relief we needed after the destruction and emotion caused by the epic Avengers Endgame, but Marvel Studios aren't stopping there. While they have been working tirelessly to deliver action-packed blockbuster after blockbuster for more than a decade now after the success of Iron Man, they have deservedly taken a break recently, but not much of a break as the MCU will return to our screens later this year with Black Widow my favourite. The highly anticipated prequel will kick off phase 4 of the MCU, which is set to shake up the superhero world, introducing new characters and a fresh way of engaging with this universe too, with programs on streaming service Disney Plus being crucial to the wider story. And this will continue beyond phase 4, with future Marvel projects already planned such as Blade, She-Hulk and Miss Marvel, with popular characters also getting sequels, including Black Panther and Captain Marvel, but that's a story for another time. For now, here is everything we know so far about Marvel's Phase 4, certainly their most ambitious project yet. Black Widow. Arriving on the 6th of November, Natasha Romanoff is finally getting her own movie, titled Black Widow of course, which will kick off Phase 4 and is directed by Kate Shortland, the Australian filmmaker behind Berlin Syndrome. A prequel set after the events of Civil War, the film will focus on Natasha's mysterious past as a Russian government trained assassin, with the trailers giving a glimpse at her family reunion. Forming that family of former colleagues is David Harbour as Red Guardian, Rachel Weiss as Melina and Florence Pugh as Yelena, strongly rumoured to be the new Black Widow for the future MCU movies. All we have to say to that is, yes please. The trailers have also given us a peek at Natasha's new white snowsuit, which looks incredible by the way, a killer soundtrack with electronic vibes and most importantly a look at the villainous Taskmaster, a popular Marvel Comics baddie who was finally making an appearance in the MCU. Who was behind the mask though? Well, we'll have to wait till November to find out, but the rumour is that it's Vice's Melina. Given that the MCU has massively adapted and changed the source material where it needs to, it wouldn't be surprising if they swapped Taskmaster's gender to give Black Widow a personal connection to the villain. Once again, yes please. The Eternals. Introducing a whole new world to the MCU is upcoming movie The Eternals, which will arrive on the 12th of February 2021. Created by legendary comic book writer Jack Kirby, The Eternals are immortal and ancient aliens created by the Celestials, designed to defend Earth from threat. But whilst they are immortal beings, director Chloe Zhao has emphasised, for this film it's about this incredible group of immortals but through their journey we get to explore what it means to be human. And playing these immortals is a brilliant cast that includes Richard Madden as Icarus, Angelina Jolie as Thena, Komeo Ninjiani as Kingo, Lauren Ridloff as Makari, Brian Tyree Henry as Fastos, Kit Harrington as Black Knight, Don Lee is Gilgamesh, Leah McHugh is Sprite, and Salma Hayek is Ajak. So far, all we have seen from the movie is some intriguing concept art, but we have faith that the internals will deliver and breathe new life into the MCU. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings the Eternals aren't the only new superheroes joining the MCU, as Shang-Chi will be getting a movie of his own releasing on the 7th of May 2021. Directed by Short Term 12's Destin Daniel Cretton, this film will feature Marvel's very first Asian lead, Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, a dream role for the actor who tweeted Marvel a couple of years ago, OK Marvel, are we going to talk or what about Shang-Chi? We will see the master of kung fu battle the real Mandarin played by Tony Leung, so not Trevor Slattery from Iron Man 3. Still not over that brilliant twist by the way. Aquafina will also star, although her role is currently unknown. Spider-Man 3. Phase 3 of the MCU ended with the Spidey movie, and it isn't long until we will see the next one with the third Spider-Man film arriving as part of Phase 4. Swinging into cinemas on the 5th of November 2021, the film is expected to pick up where Far From Home ended, a climax that shocked audiences as J. Jonah Jameson revealed Peter Parker's identity, with Spidey also being framed for Mysterio's death. Yeah, Tom Holland's young hero isn't going to have a great time in that movie, is he? Plot and casting deals are yet to be revealed, but we do know the word home will be featured in the movie's title. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. 
Although Marvel Studios haven't confirmed anything yet, Sam Raimi, the man behind the Spider-Man trilogy, has announced he will be directing the upcoming sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that incredible title, please? Scott Derrickson, who helmed the first movie, was meant to take on the project, but recently parted ways with Marvel, citing creative differences. Arriving in cinemas the 25th of March 2022, we have been promised this will be the first scary MCU movie as it takes on a horror theme, something which will suit Doctor Strange's world well. Whilst Benedict Cumberbatch will be returning as the Sorcerer Supreme for a second solo outing, it is not yet known whether supporting cast members Benedict Wong and Rachel McAdams will return. However, despite Kevin Feige refuting these claims, it is still thought that Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch will appear in the movie, which will probably therefore have ties to her upcoming Disney Plus show, WandaVision. Thor Love and Thunder Thanks to the wacky Thor Ragnarok, the God of Thunder is now a firm fan favourite when it comes to MCU heroes. And after his success with Ragnarok, Taika Waititi is back in the director's seat for upcoming sequel Thor Love and Thunder, set for release 11th of February 2022 should we say Oscar winner Taika Waititi, who recently won an Academy Award for his screenplay for Jojo Rabbit. Now ruling Asgard, Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie will find her queen, and Natalie Portman's Jane Foster will return, this time as female Thor. How exciting. Chris Hemsworth will also be back as Thor, while Christian Bale is reportedly playing the villain. And the best news of all, Korg is also confirmed to be returning to the franchise. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier For the first time ever, the MCU will enter TV territory with shows exclusive to new streaming service Disney Plus being crucial to the story. And the first show we are getting is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is set to be released later this year. Anthony McKee and Sebastian Stan will return to the franchise in the titular roles and Daniel Brawl Zemo from Captain America Civil War is also set for a comeback, this time wearing a purple mask as per the comics. This will be the first time we will see McKee's Sam Wilson as Captain America, also teaming up with Bucky Barnes. We are fully expecting this dynamic duo to give the show buddy comedy vibes. And that isn't the only Marvel show hitting Disney Plus this year, as WandaVision is also set to be released. That's right, Scarlet Witch Elizabeth Olsen and Vision Paul Bettany are getting their own show which will be set after Avengers Endgame and promised to be weird. Teona Paris also joins the cast as an adult Monica Rambeau, the kid from Captain Marvel. The first images and trailers tease an offbeat vibe and a show stylized as a classic sitcom. Think the likes of I Love Lucy. We even get to see Wanda in her classic Scarlet Witch outfit from the comics. Yep, this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Loki. Yep, he's back. We all love Loki and his mischievous ways, so when a Loki show was announced for Disney+, Plus, we couldn't have been more delighted. Tom Hiddleston's popular character will return to screen spring next year, with the show following a runaway Loki after he escapes with the Tesseract in the 2012 event in Avengers Endgame. The actor has confirmed the show will answer questions audiences have about his death and what his plan with the Tesseract is. We have only seen a very short tease so far, which reminded us just how cheeky Loki can be and shows that he is in trouble with the Time Variance Authority, sporting a TVA jumpsuit in the trailer. What that means exactly? Well, we'll have to wait until spring 2021 to find out. What if? Marvel are certainly having fun with their Disney Plus programming, with What If being an animated series which will star Jeffrey Wright as the Watcher who narrates a look at Marvel's history, delving deep into alternative possibilities and what could have been. Think what if Peggy Carter got the Super Soldier Serum instead, or what if Cap came back as a zombie? Many MCU actors will be reprising their roles including Samuel L. Jackson, Chris Hemsworth, Hayley Atwell and Paul Rudd, making the voice cast for this show incredible. It is certainly something to look forward to summer next year. Hawkeye Last but not least is the upcoming Hawkeye Disney Plus TV show, which is set to be released autumn next year. Described as an event series, the show will complete the character's story arc as Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye passes on the baton to Kate Bishop. Although no cast members except Renner have been confirmed yet, the rumour is Hayley Steinfield will play Bishop. We think Hawkeye is a seriously underrated character, so we are really looking forward to this one. And that was everything we know so far about Marvel's Phase 4. We hope you enjoyed that video and make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and hit that bell notification button so that you never miss an upload. I have been Sarah and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!